So I often get asked, like, what drives me? What drives me to jump into this ice bath, three degrees, and and um, do breath work, and be disciplined, and go to bed on time, and eat right, and like, what really drives me? Like, when it comes down to it, what really drives me is pain, right? So. I think we all know what pain feels like and I've certainly experienced enough of my own. Um, you know, pain, pain's a tricky one. It can, it, can come in, it can come in many ways, but the way it presents itself is... The way it can present itself is just uh, in mood, a lack of enjoyment in life. Uh, feeling unfulfilled, not being able to sleep, um, you know, repetitive uh, negative thinking, um, not seeing the joy in the simple stuff, um, taking everything personal. It's like anytime you get triggered by someone, someone annoys you for something, um, you know, that, that's a real sign of some pain that you might want to sort of look into and investigate. So for me, when I'm, you know, the, the breath work, I think is an amazing tool to, to dive in deep and to stir the pot a little bit and to, you know, um, try and release some of that, that pain, okay? So it, it can be a little bit icky and a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. Um, you know, I used to fear it myself. It can be uncomfortable. It can bring up a bit of anxiety and some, and some trauma and some pain and remind you of things that have happened in your life. But um, the breath work is, is, actually, is actually, you know, surfacing that for a reason. It wants it out. You know, we, we tend to suppress and we tend to push it all down. Um, the breath work really brings it to the surface and we're able to let it go much more um, yeah, in a way that's, that's very healing, you know, it can be super, super healing to, to, to move through that stuff and, you know, whether it's an angry father or a boyfriend that treated you like shit when you were younger or, you know, just uh, the fact that you couldn't get a boyfriend or a girlfriend when you were younger or you felt different or you weren't liked. It can be really simple stuff. Um, I remember I was screamed at by, by, by my year four uh, school teacher and um, I didn't realize how much that impacted me until about 18 months ago. It's crazy. I've totally forgotten it completely happened. Um, so maybe getting a little bit off track with the intent of today's quick chat, but um, you know, I think in the last five years, I, I've sort of really started pushing myself to feel my absolute best and to really experience life at its at its peak potential. Like, and I, and I think, you know, it was only 12 months ago I didn't realize what was truly what was truly possible if you really go all in. Um, and it doesn't take much; it just takes a bit of discipline and a bit of commitment. And uh, it's incredible how you can set yourself free and feel light and feel happy and feel centered and feel grounded and feel connected to other people um, and see their pain and feel compassion and empathy for them. Uh, I think, um, you know, I just encourage you to, to it, it, just to start, just to, to you know, implement something each day, whether it's just going for an ocean swim or a bushwalk or whatever it might be, or improve your dietary habits, whatever it is, just, uh, you know, it, it's a journey. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, but the more you put in, the more you get out like everything.